All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be an unboxing of a couple of items. Uh, one is going to be the Track Power VR1 Dual Racing Charger. Uh, that is a DC only charger. And also the DPS, also from Track Power, that is a 12 volt, 25 amp power supply that actually is mated directly for that VR1. Now, if you've been kind of following along here at the RC Network, I have pretty much only owned AC-DC chargers, and the limitations on those is pretty much that you can't uh, fast charge very quickly, and you also cannot do uh, large packs very quickly as well. So with those limitations, I decided to dive into my first DC-only charger and power supply. So um, I went ahead and I picked these couple of items up. Um, I've read lots of reviews and whatnot on these, and um, there's, of course, negatives on every review, and there's also lots of positives. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on a few things on uh, this unboxing, and we're going to take a look at what you get in the box, too. So um, if you guys decide to pick it up, you'll know it right away what you get inside, which is always my question here at the RC Network. So um, first, let's go ahead and look at the DPS. Now, that is a... Uh, power supply, and it's it, it can be used um, uh, without the VR1. It can be a, a great power supply, but it can also be used directly with the VR1. Um, and I'll show you why that is pretty cool here in a second. Um, all in all, the uh, comes in pretty much a a regular uh, you know half shoebox size uh, box. It lists some of the um, the specs on here including 25 amp, 12 volt DC output, um, directly mates to the VR1. Um, it has a USB port um, actually on the side of it to charge cell phones and uh, all sorts of devices up to 5 volts. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's take a look at the back side here. You can kind of see here what I was talking about, how it mates directly to without having any external wires. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Let's see what we get in the box. The box was kind of crushed in, which was kind of concerning when I originally received this, but pretty much just pops right on open. Not much for packaging too much, just it's right inside there. And there it is. So let's set this aside. Let's do some boring stuff first. Um, did include an instruction manual, which is always nice, so you don't have to refer online. You can just throw this straight in your pit bag and have it with you uh, pretty much at all times. It's very thin, kind of goes over all the different specs and whatnot of it and the functionality of that power supply. So pretty cool. Um, in this side, we have the AC power cord, so you can plug that directly into any wall outlet. Um, and you also get a couple of banana to banana plugs. Now this is going to be used for if you're mating this power supply up to uh, maybe a different uh, charger. Um, and I believe also you can use this uh, for uh, that charger as well if you decide not to use the direct connect, which I don't know quite why you do that unless maybe you're going to have it um, you know, side by side instead of on top of each other. So they do include that. Another cool feature here is looks like uh, they have the banana plugs that would plug um, in for the direct connect on this one straight up to the VR1. So pretty cool. And I also got this nice piece of cardboard. Look at that. <laughs> Any, anyways, so that is the power supply unboxing. I'll go ahead and get rid of some boxes here. Make some room on the workbench. So we got that right there. We have a few cords and whatnot. Direct connects. Owner's manual. We're set. All right, let's take a look at this VR1 now. So and I guess the, the reason why I went with this VR1 is... A couple of things. It just looks cool. I mean, if you look at the little flip-up screen, it looks like it has all sorts of graphing and charts and uh, all sorts of things. And that, that really intrigues me as far as a, a charger is to see exactly what that battery is doing. So um, with this charger, uh, it has two outputs, so it basically can charge two batteries at one time. Uh, and here's the difference on this one. Uh, the first channel, and it's what they call channel one, charges up to 20 amps. So that's throwing 
tons of power on that first channel. The second channel charges up to 6 amps, so pretty much uh, your basic uh, AC-DC type charger. So you're going to get basically two chargers in one, one that's going to do some serious power and do serious fast charges, do serious like huge batteries, and then the other one's going to be just your your regular charger to do everything else. So um, for me, I'm doing lots of two cells. I'm starting to get into some four cell batteries, and that's why this charger is going to be great. Um, throw the four cell on the first channel, throw a two cell on the second channel, and I'm good to go. Uh, when I head to the track, I'm always running multiple vehicles with all different sorts of pack variations, anywhere from you know saddle packs to two cells. I have a couple of three cells, and I've been adding on some four cells for a new eighth scale project. So as far as other features on this thing, uh, 40 model memory, so lots of memories on that. And they've actually preloaded um, track power and also Onyx batteries on this, so you're pretty much set to go out of the box uh, if you happen to have those batteries. Um, large graphic reverse LED uh, with tilt viewing, that's pretty cool. I definitely like that feature. Um, and then also uh, has a special uh, charge mode for storage of your batteries too. So um, let's look at the back side here. Looks like, you know, once again, you get that little direct connect feature, huge graphs and whatnot on there. Um, and just, it, it just looks cool. So let's uh, open up the box. Let's see what we get inside. I'll move this off to the side so we can kind of focus on this unboxing. So inside, very similar to the DPS, uh, just had is pretty much the charger right inside the box. Little uh, protective foam right there. And as I rip it, let's do some boring stuff first. Looks like you get a mini to a USB cable. Now this is going to be for doing firmware updates on your laptop or computer. Um, has a mini USB on the front of this, I believe, and that'll plug straight into your computer so you can do any kind of software update on this particular charger. Uh, next, we have a bag full of stuff. Let's open this up and let's see what we get in here. Looks like you get two Deans, which is my choice in pretty much connectors out there. Uh, pretty much a 10 inch length uh, cord, made it up to some gold banana plugs. Uh, seems to be some pretty decent uh, wire. 14 gauge wire, so that's that's definitely decent. I won't be throwing those away. As far as balance boards in that particular box, uh, you have two, what they're calling Electrofly or uh, JST uh, versions right there. So that's nice that they're including two of those. And then you're also getting two uh, flight power or thunder power uh, balance adapters as well. With that, you also get two balance cords uh, so you can plug directly into the charger. There we go. Other side over here, you also get uh, banana to banana. If you happen to be hooking this up to an external power supply other than the DPS. So with all the cords out of the way here, let's take a look at this charger. So it's a lot smaller than actually I thought it was going to be. Um, from the pictures and everything else that I've seen online, I thought this was going to be this huge monstrosity, and it definitely isn't. We're going to take a look at some literature in here that it also includes. So it looks like uh, you have some quick reference flow charts right there, probably for the software and also the instruction manual. So nice that they're including that. That'll go straight in the pit bag. And there it is. So grab this thing up close and personal. Um, nice charger. It seems to be uh, very well built. Uh, it has you know pretty much aluminum all the way around it. Uh, it has your traditional push buttons right there. It has a nice little scroll wheel, which will be nice for you know cruising through all the menus. Front portion right here, you're getting your channel one, your channel two, uh, one through four cell, one through six cell balance boards, your temp sensors, and also your uh, USB mini for updating your software. Side over here, it looks like you have a couple of fans directly coming out of there. Top section, looks like you also have another fan right there just to keep dissipating the heat. 
Uh, looks like you have some venting over here. Uh, input one right there for an external power supply other than the DPS. And on the underside here, you're going to notice you have the input two right here for the DPS power supply. So that's going to be pretty cool. So as far as the little screen right here, this thing does flip up and tilt. Uh, you know, one thing that you'll see a lot of guys at the track do is they're, they're tilting up their chargers, you know, way up on end so they can read it as they're standing in front of it or sitting in front of it. Nice thing about this is you can have it directly on your pit stand or pit area and then flip up the screen so you can view it easily and see exactly where your lipos are at during the charge. So the way these kind of mate together is they're going to use these uh, double-ended banana plugs. All is good. And you'll have these two connectors here on the underside as you see those two right there. And they'll pretty much sit just like this. These things were basically made for each other, which is definitely what I like. And there you go. There's your full DC capable racing charger. That's what I'm going to use it for. So um, all in all, that's it as far as the unboxing. I will have some running video of this charger. Um, here in the next few days, I plan to use it actually today, get a little bit familiar with it uh, throughout the day. That way I can talk to you guys about it and tell you any positives, negatives, and all that good stuff. I'm kind of setting everything out here that comes with it so you guys can see all up close and personal. So all in all, really happy with this edition here at the RC Network. Um, I can't wait to start using it and kind of learn about it. So I've been kind of going charger crazy lately, and um, I do plan to do somewhat of a uh, charge off, I guess you could say. Uh, we're going to do some timing and all that, all sorts of stuff on just, you know, some regular two cell batteries to see how fast these things charge. Um, I have probably my most asked question here at the RC Network is, um, how fast does it charge a battery? And there's always specifics with that, you know, and um, so we're going to do maybe a charge off here in the next uh, few weeks. So stay tuned. If you have any questions about this track power VR1 or the DPS power supply, please put it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.